Okay, we're going to get a recording here. Do we have anyone around at this time? Feel that breeze? I don't feel it. Just put your hands here. No? Oh, I'm slight. Yeah. yeah. Is the windows open? Is that a window, maybe? Is it open? It's not open. Wow. Was that you? Um, for me, it was kind of a organic process. I was interested in spirits already. I had a few experiences when I was younger, but I also um, was interested in genealogy and cemeteries. Um, so from the cemeteries, going out to cemeteries, taking photos and videos, it kind of progressed into the spiritual stuff and the ghost stuff as well. It's more to do with conduct, how you conduct yourself publicly and within the team environment. Um, it's the professional conduct of returning calls, always being nice to people, that kind of thing. More so than, you know, making money and trying to get bigger and famous and that kind of stuff. So you would expect this to always say zero out here. You would not ever expect it to say anything. There's definitely no such thing as an expert because we really don't know what's going on, we haven't got any answers for it. So professional and expert, it's a very hard, very hard words to put towards the field of paranormal because we're all blindly groping in the dark at the end of the day on what's going on. I was actually born into a haunted house and a lot of my family were having very strange things happen in that house. Whether they were natural, whether they were supernatural, it didn't matter. It was just the case of trying to find an answer for it. You know, the theory is that a ghost appears and creates EMF. That's the general standard theory. But the problem with the theory is, how do you measure that? Because no one actually has a ghost that they can pull out to see that is actually giving off EMF. But we'd use a range of equipment in the hope that the equipment picked up something a bit more tangible in evidence. None of this equipment, by the way, has been proven to find a ghost. As I say, we're blindly groping in the dark, but it hopefully would give us an indication that something unusual was going on. These ones in particular are very sensitive. You have a two-way there and you're gonna set it off. So it'll pick up on RF waves as well. That one's an EMF meter. That one won't pick up on it. The only thing we can do is find patterns. If we can find a pattern that comes up more often, then we've got a chance of being there when it happens again. Now, the way I run my tours, because I'm, I want them to tell me stuff, because I can't get rid of that researcher side of me, is I purposely don't tell them before they come into a building what we've had happen. So I'm not putting it into their head. Now we get a lot of people when they're walking around, I'll say, where did you feel uncomfortable the most? Oh, there's something about the bathroom they didn't like. So we've asked on audio things like, well, did you die in the bath? And we'll get a yes. I asked, did you suicide in the bath? Never heard an answer to that one. The main story you hear though is of the woman with a lantern and she actually walks up the middle and then she walks up to where the reformatory was up on the hill and she looks like she's looking for something and that's the main story that you hear about out here. What we're looking for, what I'm looking for, is something that we definitely, definitely can't go, that could have been anything. So any creaks and groans, I'm not really that interested in. So. And with that, we'll just go quiet for a bit.
to me, and I'm not a clairvoyant and I'm not psychic, but to me there is a difference when something's about to happen or when you've got something there. To me tonight, this feels comfortable. comfortable. We haven't really captured a great deal at all, to be honest. Um, I would pretty much say most teams haven't really gotten anything that you could substantiate as being evidence. It, they've collected data, and you know, data isn't exactly evidence. Because like, what people want to see is a photo or a video. A lot of people want to prove it, and that's their sole aim, is to get out there, prove it, put their little bit of evidence up there. After 23 years, the one thing I have come to the conclusion of, I'm never going to prove anything. You're really not. You can put anything out there, it'll be, it can have a hundred other reasons. You know, no one's actually caught anything so far other than the TV shows that, you know, you can say is a genuine piece of evidence. And whoever that one person is, you know, they're going to be celebrated pretty much because everyone wants to know what happens after you die.